Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Global Issues on Al Hikmat TV 24 7 online. It is indeed a pleasure and an honor to have with us in Al Hikmat studio Brother Imtiaz Mohammed. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And thank you again for coming to Al Hikmat studio. It is always a pleasure to have you with us thank you. and to be on the show on Al Hikmat TV. So stay tuned for a very interesting conversation with Brother Imtiaz uh, Mohammed. Uh, Brother Imtiaz is a 2020 USA election candidate, and we're going to talk about that. He is going up uh, for, as Florida State House 104 representative. So we'll be talking to him a little bit about his involvement in politics and why he thinks it's necessary to get into politics and who should get into politics and why he's getting into politics. He's a businessman. Uh, he runs the Asian Times USA Media Group. So very interesting, brother. And for you viewers worldwide, Brother Mtiaz and his experience can be very beneficial to our viewers and our listeners worldwide. So stay tuned. We'll continue. A little more in details on Brother Imchaz. Al Hikmat Dawa Services now offering a special Dubai and Umrah package in December 2019. A 10 day trip from December 9th to December 19th, 2019. Average cost is $3,000. The group will be led by Sheikh Shafayat. For more details, you can contact Al Hikmat Dawa Services at 954 986 0158 or you can email us at alhikmat at alhikmat.com. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. If you would like to dedicate copies of one of these publications as Sadaqa Jariya, continuous blessings for your parents or dear ones who have passed away, or fi sabidullah in the path of Allah, please give us a call so we can place your names on these dedicated publications. You can call us at 954 986 0158 or you can also visit us at www.alhikmat.com. Allah is the creator of different faces. Allah is the creator of all races. Allahu, 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 Allah. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Global Issues on Al Hikmat TV 24 7 online. It is indeed a pleasure and an honor to have with us in Al Hikmat studio, Brother Imtiaz Mohammed. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And thank you again for coming to Al Hikmat studio. It is always a pleasure to have you with us thank you. and to be on the show on Al Hikmat TV. So stay tuned for a very interesting conversation with Brother Imtiaz uh, Mohammed. Uh, Brother Imtiaz is a 2020 USA election candidate, and we're going to talk about that. He is going up uh, for, as Florida State House 104 representative. So we'll be talking to him a little bit about his involvement in politics and why he thinks it's necessary to get into politics and who should get into politics and why he's getting into politics. He's a businessman. Uh, he runs the Asian Times USA Media Group. So very interesting, brother. And for you viewers worldwide, Brother Mtiaz and his experience can be very beneficial to our viewers and our listeners worldwide. So stay tuned. We'll continue a little more in details on Brother Mtiaz. 
So, Brother Mchia Saheb Ji, um, let's ask you about your interest in why you think that you should run as a Florida State Representative in 2020. Thank you for asking a very important question. It's not really why I want to run for myself. We have to go back in the history of United States that people come from different countries. Mm -hmm. They travel for different reasons to make this country as a home. Mm -hmm. And once they get involved in the system in society, some people are get accepted and some people even don't think that they will be accepted. That's why I feel being an immigrant and also being a Muslim, that it was general perception that we cannot be this, we cannot be that. That's wrong. Look, when I came, I was nobody. When I started in this country. How many years now are you in the United States 30 of plus America? 30 years. 30 okay. years. Beautiful. So, but the feelings I used to have from that time till today, and I feel so excited and encouraged that, look, America gives you everything, but you need to get it, adopt it, and perform. A lot of people do not take that advantage. Like few years ago, we started involving ourselves in civic engagement. In the last three, four years, if you see in the state of Florida, now people are coming out for different reasons, getting involved in politics, and all credit goes to our President Trump. Basically, you know, I admire his work for the communities in a different way. Mm -hmm. People are not understanding Trump. We never have this kind of environment ever before. Muslims were hiding or living in the mass culture. They are out on the streets. This is the biggest change who provided this, Trump. So we should be thankful to the President of the United States. He was elected. You mean How he activated everybody? Exactly. However, he came in power by your vote. And we yes. should respect that. So he I'm got the vote. Yes, he got the vote. He He's made serving. it happen. He made it happen. And uh, he's a very outspoken person. I know a lot of people try to think that I am biased to Trump, but I am not. I, as you're saying, I admire the things he, he did, the things he's doing, and I disagree with things that he does. Mm -hmm. And I totally do not like certain things he does. And then um, it creates such an unnecessary backlash. But you know what? I also admire that he got the guts to not to continue with certain things that he see will not make sense. And he stops it. But you know what? He's, so, he, he, he's very aggressive. He just makes things happen. Yes. And he just creates an atmosphere so the Muslims got up. And he realizes that a lot of the voters in America, his voters, a lot of them are haters. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Yeah, no, he, he realizes they're haters. So he says the things that they want to hear so they could come and vote for him. And I know that. I, I, you know that. We know that. But he's a smart guy. He still keeps a relationship with the Muslim world. See, these are the misconceptions. Like, look, imagine. Right now, I'm a Democrat. Okay, but it should not stop my mind just to be on the democratic policies. Look, what Democrat give Muslim community? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What they have done? What are the accomplishments? So I'm running on a democratic seat, fine, but my views and ideas will be for the people. What people want? They want Democratic Party to rule them, they want Republican Party to rule them, but in reality, people should look for their solutions and true representative. Look, current issues right now what is happening around here south florida or globally everybody is on the street people are talking about kashmir issue palestine issue these issues are not new issues but in america it became very important well what you're saying is that once upon a time 
Muslims in America never made their voices heard. Now they're feeling a little more comfortable yes. to speak out, to let their voices be heard. And um, like, like how many Muslims since, no, since, Paul, since Trump came into election, how many Muslims, uh, I, I think it's over 100 people. 105 last in, uh, election, in 2018. Run for seats. Run for the seats. Throughout the United States exactly. of America. Exactly, but now. But that is interesting. Very that interesting. is interesting. Over 100 people in America, Muslims, who were always sleeping. I mean, I have a Not respect, sleeping, but not they totally were not aware asleep, of this can happen. But they did not become so active and so creative as they ran for seats in 2018. They just took everything for granted. So yes, they were not asleep, but they were not very aggressive and active neither. But I can say something very big right now. The way things are right now, the way things are happening in politics, because look, everybody is gearing up for 2020. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And some people are just talking about Trump, his hate and all that, but imagine, Instead of doing that, we should look for an opportunity for Trump to resolve these issues. And trust me, if somebody can resolve Kashmir and Palestine issue, will be Trump. Yeah. Why I say that? Because he make things happen, whether you like it or you don't like it. Uh, well, uh, His mind. If uh, somebody can you like tweet it, him, whether you like him or you, or don't, you don't like him, him. he is doing something. We can happen. I have a hope. I'm not going to talk negative about Republican Party. I'm not going to talk negative about President Trump. They are doing their job. If I don't like their policies, look what I'm doing right now. Motivating an individual who's been here in this country for such a long time, never think of running in an office. Your voice can be heard on the seat, on the platform. Once you represent yourself in those places, make noise. So you're technically but, getting into a position as a vehicle to fulfill the mission, the accomplishment of what needs to get done, to be done in your state, in your country. Because everything is start from your home. Yeah. If I'm sitting here in Pembroke Pines and Florida State, I should be worried about here, about the people. People have different, like there is city government, there is a state government, and there are federal government. So let everybody do their job. We as a people on the grassroots level should focus on what really bothers us. We as a Muslims in this country are ill-treated, mistreated because we never represented ourselves in a right positive direction. Look, I'm running for office and I'm surprising everybody. You know what will be my issues? As a Florida rep, I will be raising voice for Kashmiri people. I'll be raising voice for Palestinian people. Why? You know why I'm going to do this? Although, is Palestine is not Florida issue? Uh -huh. If Kashmir is not Florida issue, then how come Colombia is Florida issue? How come Israel is Florida issue? There are representatives, there are elected officials, they lobby, they help Israel, they help Colombia, they help other in our district, our representative, our congressmen, our uh, elected officials. They don't know what's happening in Kashmir. Of course. I'm they don't know what's happening in Palestine. Why they don't say anything about it? You know why? We never asked them. Now in 2020, I'm mobilizing everyone. All those who believe in humanity, they should at least educate yourself. Yeah. Don't listen Be to me. Because it is a, a, a human. It's a humanitarian crisis. Right. It's Kashmir, what is happening? Crisis. They are killing everyone. They are not pinpointing only Muslims. Kashmir is not a Muslim issue. Palestine is not a Muslim issue. This is what we need to take this on that route. So but what you are saying is that being a, a politician and uh, having the voice in uh, America in a political seat, it's a powerful vehicle exactly. to discuss humanitarian issues or global issues pertaining to humanity. And, and uh, just to shift from the topic a little bit, Back to the point. So this is why you think it's important Absolutely. that Muslims should get involved in politics in America. Because really, um, you know, before Trump came into power in America, Muslims were involved in, 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 they were involved, but in a very little way. Muslims have always been doing charitable work, but they never made it known. 
Now, nobody is saying that you need to show off when you do good things. But if it is important, Allah tells us you give it public or you give things secretly, it's a blessing. And if it's necessary in America to make your voice heard, to make your presence known in the community charitable services, it is important. It is very important. And really, in the last year or two, you would have noticed like hurricane, earthquakes, you are seeing Muslims doing things. Yes. Now, we know that Muslims have always been doing things, but they started doing more. More people are doing more, and they are getting it known. And you know what, Brother Intias? I have also noticed that government representatives have started recognizing Muslims. They have started being aware on issues to call on Muslims to hear the voice on the issue. Whether you're in a political seat or not, they are now recognizing that they are a people called Muslims in America, and we need to hear the voice on certain issues, interfaith issues, community issues. So I think that's the reason why, I mean, Allah has blessed the Muslims. You're a big population in America, in the world, and it's important that, 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 that um, Muslims get involved in these social community issues so that they can have a voice not only yes for the country you live in but because you're in politics you can talk on issues pertaining to humanity so you're very comfortable with that oh yeah actually you know more you get involved in politics more you know because what i see right now that when the political season come people gonna be coming out the street people will be visiting you guys coming and asking for door knocking voting asking for vote but you have a right to ask them once you will be elected, what are you going to do for me? But I want to ask you a question as you are going up um, in um, this political arena, or you are in this political arena and you are going up as a Florida state representative in 2020 election 104 district, right? District yes. 104. Do you think that Trump likes Muslim? Or does not like. Let's be very honest. Now, uh, there are a lot of people who will tell you no, but without thinking, do you think Trump like Muslims? Okay, let me not? tell you something very clearly. I'm asking all my fellow American Muslims. Uh, and I just want to say this for viewers. Yeah, yeah. Trump, the president of the, the United, United States, States. Of, of America, because some people may be thinking I'm saying Trump, but they may not know who I'm referring to. The president of the United States of America, do you think he likes Muslims or not? I was just want to okay. get to this point. Uh, as an American Muslim Democrat, my statement is crystal clear. American Muslims need to understand one thing. When Trump was elected as the President of the <coughs> United States, how many mosques he shut down in America? How many Muslim organization got stopped working. How many Muslims, legal Muslims, got arrested? How many Muslims got deported? Yes, there are some administrative issues. There are some administrative problems. I'm not defending Trump. I'm talking as like an individual, as a citizen for my president. So what are we saying? Even though he said things like, it's okay. Even though he said things against Muslims, he did not shut down any mosques. He did not deport any Muslim for any um, and unnecessary he, 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 reason. He did not discourage me to take my name off from the ballot. And he did I'm not. I'm proud. He did not. And look, you know, I'm enjoying my freedom of his speech. I say what I like. That's a reality. No, you're a Democrat. Democrat. Uh, yeah, I'm a seat. And you're running for a Democratic seat. Uh, yes. So... When but he, I want, I'm running for American right. people. Because, you know, Trump is a very interesting uh, person, very interesting personality. You know, he's very slick, a slick businessman. <laughs> he says one thing, he does another, another thing. thing. That's he it. does one thing. So that's what my this. hope is. So uh, he is the only one I look to me it's as a, a lot hope. of fun. It's yeah. a lot of fun. But you know what is very interesting? That the man's first international trip after becoming president was to the Muslim world. Saudi Arabia and amongst his first visitors to the White House he invited the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia so 
You know, that's why I ask you the question. Do you think, because that's a question that I hear from a lot of people all the time. Actually, people ask me that. Say, so, Sheikh, what do you think of President Trump? Does he like Muslims? Does he hate Muslims? I said, I cannot answer that. I do not. But I can say he does not hate yeah, Muslims. Not at all. I do not believe he hates Muslims because I have not seen him doing anything that shows hate for Muslims. Exactly. Actually, he says things from the political arena just to create issues. Hmm. But you know what? Even when the Muslim Congresswoman, and let's talk about that, when she cursed him, right? Let's be honest, that is public news. Rashida, right? The Congresswoman. When she cursed him, he never said anything bad about Islam. He never said, all he said that actually he gave credit to Islam by saying, more or less, I don't remember the exact word, that she has just suspected who she is as a Muslim, her Muslim family, her Muslim background. Now, I was thinking that he was going to say, is that what your religion teach you? Is that what you... He was slick, and he did not do that. He did not criticize her religion and her Islam. Actually, it is credit to the religion when he said that she has disrespected her religion because better is expected from Muslims. You see, we got to think wise. Yes. It's like a glass. You got to look at half full. Look at the positive side. And in my experience, and a lot of people think that I am very pro-Trump. I'm not pro-Trump. I'm honest. It can be Obama. It can be Trump. It can be Bush. I want to be very honest. What they do good, they deserve the credit. What they say or do bad, yeah, as politicians, it must also be known and be fair. But it is important that Muslims understand that. And people think that I am a, a, I'm just a Trump guy. No, 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 no. no I admire true. the things he does. And I look at the opportunities that Muslims have. And you have a good point. More Muslims got into the political arena. Well, now, they I may mean, be saying know. because they don't like Trump and they want to get rid of Trump, that's why they got in. No, that's a wrong but footage. Trump created the awareness, the equality for Muslims to get involved, and that's just his political and business style. No, I mean, uh, see, it should be harmful if someone wants to run for office to represent the community. Nobody is stopping. And this is the most important thing American Muslims need to understand. Why we should talk negative about President Trump? Why should we disrespect anybody else? We have issues. Yeah. Look, Kashmir, Palestine, or any issue, if you have issues, there is a system to follow. Look, everybody go through that channel. So just adopt that. Forget who likes you, who don't likes you, and who is good, who is bad. To me, both parties are same. Plus, that's the name yeah, of politics. We, uh, that, exactly. That's so the name you, of politics. Uh, yes. If you're in a Muslim so, country in Pakistan, and you've got two Muslim parties, you'll have one have. party that does not like the next party because of an issue. I'm suggesting to all American Muslims, understand one thing. We have uh, one platform. We have one system for all. You run for offices with issues. Let people to decide. Like, I'm running, I'm making history in Florida for doing one thing. When I'll do my campaign run, I will be the first candidate who is asking no money from people, mm -hmm. no money from big organizations. I'm not asking, I'm not doing any fundraisers. I'm not asking any donations. All I'm very asking- Very interesting. Very interesting, yes. People will say, how are you gonna run? I say, no. My run is totally unique in a way why I want to represent that individual who cannot afford to pay me a dollar, but who can afford to vote for me. Because with that dollar, what I'm going to do? I'm going to market myself. I'm going to spend money on my marketing, do everything. So should I get that vote or I get the dollar? So I choose between dollar and vote. The vote, vote is more important. So I'm going door to door in Pembroke Pines, Western, Southwest ranches, and telling people, I don't need your dollar. Save that dollar for you. Give me your vote. You know why I'm asking only for vote? Because I want to represent people, not big corporations. So you want to repeat those areas again? Pembroke Pines. Pembroke Pines, 
southwest ranches and western and western yes we have so all that's the area uh, you Alberta. will be representing. and i'm focused there Excellent. i'm not going out of that district i'm staying there i'm there and i want everybody of pembroke pines southwest ranches and western people to know i don't need your money i don't need your dollar you need true representation just give me your vote and test me out for two years I can be bad only for two years, then kick me out. So this is the way all politicians should do. Now, when they come to your door, ask them what they did in past. We talk bad about all day about, you know, all media is busy talking about Trump. All day long. We have other businesses also. We have other things also. We need to educate the society for other things also. What is doing good, what is doing bad. He's the president, leave him alone. If you don't like him, vote against for him and get him out of the way in a proper way. Of course, professional. Way. So that's the way I'm asking but, all but the do voters. You know, do you know that's one of his style? I think he's the only president in U.S. history that has made more news than anybody and else. more media than anybody else. Every channel, everyone, they speak 24-7. And even the channel that does not like him, they are, they are, they, they are maybe... 24 8 <laughs> they had an extra day to speak but this is and, and that is one of his art of making news and i think people don't understand that strategy but before we go we got to go on a short break we got to okay. go on a short break we've been speaking for over 20 <laughs> minutes already uh what about your your opinion for a muslim to run on a republican seat like i said and you would have feel because you know recently i'm seeing muslims only thinking about running on as a, a Democrat, Democrat. See, as a Democrat. Do you think that is right? Or no. don't you think that Muslims, because if we know that the Democrat, Democratic Party and the Republican Party both got values and they both got their methodology and their benefits for this country and former Democratic and Republican presidents have done great work for this country on an equal basis technically, um what about muslims also running on a democratic seat why why, why, why i mean on a, on a republican seat why aren't muslims running on a republican seat excellent question more muslims in america thinking differently about democratic party for example we live in the state of Florida. There are certain regions because you just want to win the election. People think, oh, no, I cannot be Republican. I cannot be Democrat. And if I want to win the election, I have to be one of them to get elected. That need to change. That need to change. We need to run on issues. We need to run whichever party. But you're looking at switching party makes you look bad. Of course, of course. And people say, what the hell is this guy is doing? Then no. it looks as though it's you're, just, like, like, you're running for the, yourself. So the system is, is designed in this way yes. that you have to choose one party. But you need to have the voice too. I'm a Democrat, but I have a voice. I'm representing people. I'm not representing Democratic Party. When I go to the street, I'm going to the voters. And I'm asking Republican support. I'm asking Democratic support. And they need to understand. So why you're just using the Democratic card. I am on a democratic platform. I registered as a Democrat. I liked what happened in the past. But to be honest, at this point, I am running as an independent candidate. You know why I say that? That I want people to understand one thing. You don't do things only every time to win the seat. Winning seat will not make me more satisfied than resolving the issues. If I have to do this for the people, I should not care about Democratic Party or Republican Party. If I'm taking issues of Muslims, then I should get just focus on those issues. So you're saying you're, you're running on a Democratic platform to but with help open solve the issues in the country, which is very fair, very fair. Because that's, that's the, the, the political system in America that you have to go on one of the and platforms. And people need to be honest. And people need to understand honest. that like also. My uh, honesty is 100%. I am loyal to America. Then 
political parties come second. Mm -hmm. And to me, if I'm taking issues in my election issues, it's very simple and easy. And again, you know, Trump is a good example. Eh? <laughs> in Trump history, if you, ch if you check his background, Trump has been very good friends with Democrats. His relationship with Clintons, his relationship, especially the Clintons, yeah, see, have been very friendly, very friendly. So people were amazed when they saw President Trump running on a Republican platform. They were like, but he's not Republican. But then he ran on a Republican platform because it was the better opportunity for him. It was the better vehicle for him to run on. And that was very smart because if he had run on a democratic platform, I don't think he would have made with, 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 with Hillary on a democratic platform to get to be the, 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 the nominee. But as a Republican, he put everybody else in the back seat. See, this is the thing like, you know, a lot of politicians need to understand that a lot of people just get, oh, no, I'm a Republican. I hate my Democrat fellow. That's a wrong philosophy. Mm -hmm. we, when we go to the voter, when I go out on campaign trail, I'm not asking everybody, are you Republican or Democrat? No. I'm asking what your issues are. Okay, I'm going to represent. If I want to represent, Kashmir and Palestine issue is not Democratic Party issue or Republican issue. Mm -hmm. It's not their issue. Of course, it's a humanitarian issue. It's a humanitarian issue. issue. So I'm running as a Democrat for humanity. Mm -hmm. So I want to represent Republicans and Democrats at the same time. They need to understand what is the real issue and how we can resolve it. Because United Nations failed, couldn't resolve Kashmir and Palestine issue. America failed. Is why I always say I have a hope with Trump. He may resolve those issues and surprise us in the morning with one tweet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because he's been doing things. And he may resolve a lot yeah. of immigration and he, issues. Yes, because look, Democratic Party, Republican Party has been there for centuries. Did we resolve Kashmir issue? Did we resolve Palestine issue? No. So why are we again going to rely on the same channel and everything? But I suggest everybody, all American Muslims, please ask for help from President Trump. He can make the change. He can really listen. So that could be a possibility. Once issues are resolved, that is your uh, power. Then you say, we are proud to say in America is a superpower because you use your wisdom to resolve issues. Right. So we got to really go on a short okay. break here. But, you know, on that issue of Palestine and uh, Kashmir, yes, America did not do anything about it in the past years, but very interesting. Maybe Muslims did not create their awareness. Thank Muslims you. Muslims in yes. America did not uh, make their voices heard. So the politicians and the presidents did not think it was necessary to get involved so, yeah. in an international humanitarian issues. We're not saying they should not, but nobody cared and nobody showed any interest. We have to and, educate but them. But now when the Muslims who are getting involved in the political arena, when they create international humanitarian issues, yes. of course the presidents and the congressmen to. and the senators will also join the discussion in how we can solve these issues. So thank you very much. It has been very interesting talking, <laughs> brother in chairs for the past, wow, 20 and 10, 30 minutes. We're going to go on a short break. When we come back, viewers, uh, we will continue this conversation with brother Imtiaz Mohammed, who is a 2020 candidate for Florida State Representative uh, District number 104. Very interesting brother, very intelligent brother. He's a businessman and he's a community leader. So we'll continue again. And we're talking all about why Muslims should get involved in politics in America. Why? Why? And maybe when we come back, we'll talk about who should get involved. Who should get involved? Because Muslims is one thing, but who amongst the Muslims should get involved? It's not everybody can get involved. And not everybody should get involved in politics. So until then, stay tuned. When we come back, we'll continue this conversation, inshallah. Al-Hikmat Dawah Services now offering a special debate and Umrah package in December 2019. A 10-day trip from December 9th to December 19th, 2019. 
Average cost is $3,000. The group will be led by Sheikh Shafayat. For more details, you can contact Al Hikmat Dawah Services at 954 986 0158 or you can email us at alhikmat at alhikmat.com. When we educate the world, ignorant Muslims as well as non-Muslims about Islam, the message of the Quran, the lifestyle of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, then those ignorant people and those people with hate out there, we may not be able to convince everyone, but inshallah bi'ithnillah, we will be able to convince most of them. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, The believers in the mutual kindness, compassion, and sympathy are just like one body. When any part of the body suffers, the whole body feels pain. If we don't wake up and spread this message of Islam, and get people to understand the true message of the Quran and the true life pattern and conduct of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam people will have this sort of hate against us but the world has one and a half billion Muslim beautiful masjids Muslims got everything but yet you got a lot of haters and you got a man shooting people on March 15th in New Zealand these buildings and these schools did not stop that we got to spread the message to eradicate that hate and that misunderstanding against Islam and Muslims in the world the beautiful buildings won't do that Assalamu alaikum Allah gives hikmat wisdom to whomsoever he wills and whomsoever is given wisdom is certainly given a lot of good only the people of understanding will benefit from the reminder. Tune in to Al Hikmah TV for kutbas, lectures, and Islamic reminders. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Global Issues on Al Hikmah TV. It is once more a pleasure to have with us in Al Hikmah studio, Brother Imtiaz Mohammed. Again, Brother Imtiaz, we had a wonderful conversation. And you know, we ended on that note, which is so interesting. Muslims should also be Republicans. <laughs> so we're talking to a, a Democratic candidate. Brother Imtiaz is running for 2020 election on a Democratic platform. <laughs> but we are interestingly discussing the topic of Muslims should also run on a Republican platform. And do you agree with that? Absolutely, why not? Yeah. See, the thing but is... But why do why you think Muslims should also run on a Republican platform? And, and you're a Democrat. We okay. all know that. And this is interesting because, you see, I, I want to let people know we're not biased. We could talk to a Democrat who says that Muslims should also run Repub yes. on a Republican platform. That does not mean that Muslims should not vote for you as a Democrat. Oh, no, absolutely and, not. And, and that does not mean that Muslims should not be on the, demo, on the Republican platform. But why do you think Muslims need to do that? Okay, the reason um, it's a perception, it's set it up the way the things are set up because we were not involved in politics. So people were already presumably things that Democrats are more open-minded. They're more flexible. More flexible. And that's the way the people started shifting that side. A very good point that because the Democrats are more, more welcoming to welcoming, Muslims, yes. And it's much easier to get on a democratic platform. That's the entry for everybody. Oh. And they think people think they they more are considering immigrants, and they are more uh, yes, welcoming. So the, the, the Democratic Party, oh, they sort of tolerate, they sort of encourage uh, immigrants. But they're open to all. And they're open to, to all. all. Yeah. And. It's a perception that Republicans are more on the other side. And I should say, it's nothing wrong with the Republican Party, but they did not have 
representative who can convey the Republican message to the American Muslims also. Mm. So this became really divide and shift. And when you are entering in the politics, you have to look for the voters. You have to look for the party numbers that which will be the best area for me to run. B but the Republicans won without the Muslim support. But that's an overall win. And now this is the... So do you think because the Republicans realized that President Trump won without the Muslim support, that they did not need Muslims to you run see, on their the platform. Muslim vote is swing vote. Is all the Muslims really, like, you know, now if you see from 2018 till 2020, there are a lot of people registered for votes. A lot of people will surprise that election. We'll see. We'll see the real number in 2020. Mm -hmm. How many people are now people are getting more involved in politics. People are running like local people running. The Muslims are running from their communities. They are going to the massages. They are going to the Islamic functions and they are talking about politics. They are running. So but when do you think do you think that the Muslims are making a mistake by only becoming Democrats? Absolutely. You're right. Look, you know, we should not look into the eyes of only one party. And that's the position I take. Be because the Republicans know that Muslims vote or, 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 or if they do not vote will not make a difference to their presidency position. So that's why they don't need to open the doors for Muslims. It's but, but shouldn't Muslims make the effort, effort to get involved and get into the Republican Party so with more... Let me Effect surprise you. Yes, effective abs position. And hear my point. More effective position. Exactly. Rather than support a Democratic candidate who cannot do anything for the country or the Muslims. Absolutely. Very good point. That's the way uh, nowadays I'm struggling and uh, creating a system mm -hmm. which I'm giving a name to that thing as MPAC, Muslim Political Action Committee, Florida. There is one nationwide, but we want to focus Florida first. So we want to create a platform of political activities where Republicans, Democrats, Independents, everybody is welcome. So that political par uh, action committee should do one thing, campaign support. For if you are a Republican, you're coming and you're running for office, mm -hmm. that same entity should support you in your campaign if your issues are right yeah and if, it's for yeah, the betterment of the country. exactly so it's a we are running on issues mm -hmm. we are not running as a democrat party or we are not affiliated so this concept i'm already growing i understand the importance of muslims in each party and that's why we are creating this platform where people should be supported you want to be a democrat good luck run for office we'll support you you want to run as independent, we'll support you. You want to run as a Republican, we'll support you. So this is nonpartisan platform. They will support every American Muslim candidate. That's what the platform is very badly needed in Florida. But of course, of course, that, that's because what Because look, need. you know, we have social organization doing excellent job. We have religious organization doing excellent job. We have interfaith community doing excellent job, but our political platform is, is still empty. Of course, you know, I see and I will not call names and I do not want to call names and I really am not calling names. But there are a lot of Muslim organizations who claim to be, who claim to be um, based on issues, based on politics, based on social issues, but they are just only Democrats. And their vision is only about Democrats. They only talk about Democrats. Their mission is only the Democratic mission. Their vision is only the Democratic vision. And that's why I see them still losing. And they're just losing. And they're not getting what they want. And they're spending millions and billions. I mean, it is no. You have the rights as an individual to be a Democratic um, candidate which is the, the, the legal system. But I'm saying there are those who are saying they are set up not as democratic and not as Republican, but at the end of the day, the only thing they do and promote is the democratic vision. And people are not stupid. America is not stupid. They know that. They see that. 
See, this, the, this thing can be fixed by American Muslims only. Nobody yes. can fix that. Yes. So th the, the system which we're trying to create Th here. That's a nice system. That looks. So MPAC is like, you know, and. And, uh, and what, is that, what does it stand for again? Muslim Political Action Committee of Florida. MPAC. Okay. MPAC. And right. the purpose of this platform will be the people who are going to run will not be candidates. They will be from Republican Party. They will be from Democratic Party or independent views. But they will support only, exclusively, American Muslim candidates who are running for any office. Excellent. From any party. Excellent. And this is the uh, outcome of all my three, four years effort that this is needed. Because what we're doing, it's going to be benefit after 10 years. So it's so, not going to benefit so in this election. Do you have any Muslims who are already uh, making the effort or you can see them on the swing of, of, of being more Republican? Why not? No, do you have right now? See, do once, we hear such people? Once we create that platform, uh -huh. we may see them coming up. Absolutely. See, and maybe... Because you know what? I think there are a lot of Muslims who do support Republicans. But they are just shy because right around them are is everybody of Democrat. Muslims, all Democrats, and the Muslims only talk Democrats. They eat Democrats. They sleep Democrats, and they lose like Democrats. But anyhow, so <laughs> that's why that's like, you see. Point. So we have done extensive research on this issue. Yes. So that's why we're creating this. People don't have to trust me. People have to trust on the system. What we are putting on the table, that look. You want political engagement in America? This is the route. Mm -hmm. You should have a collective platform for both parties, Republican or Democrats, or somebody want to run independent, fine. So you have to support equally. If people accept because him. Because that's the system in that's America. That's the system in America. You cannot want to do other Yeah, lives. I cannot run from three different platforms. No. I have to choose one, I'm there. Of course. Now, voters will decide whether I'm electable or not electable. Yes. Party should not decide that I'm electable or not. Because in party, unfortunately, I have to disclose this, a lot of favorism. Of course. That's what the party is all and about. And one yeah, candidate you know, leave, Jeff, brother, Jeff, other candidates come. Because it's a lot of people doing things with this bias, mission, and vision. And do you know that was one of the vision that Trump ran on when he said drain drain that system so out. Exactly. He wanted to get corrupted politicians out. Now I know he's a, he's a crazy man with his mouth. We all know that. <laughs> he knows that. He, at, at, he admits that. His followers admit that he's a crazy man with his mouth. But that was one of the things. The corrupted politicians would we'll be get getting aside. them out. Drain them. So thi this is exactly what is happening right now. Mm -hmm. So that's the way people have to, people have to think as American, not as a Democrat yes. and not as a Republican. Think as think an American, American. And for the betterment of everybody. Of the people in America. Look, the you know, we get labeled as Muslims get labeled, okay, we think only Muslim. No. Oh, no, no. Islam is for everybody. International. It's an international religion. International. Listen, uh, listen, I love Democrats and I love their issues. And I see the Democrats have a lot of humanitarian issues. And I just want to vote our viewers who are there. Don't miss my point. This is a global issues talk show. And I want to be very just in my issues. I don't want to be biased like some other people on the media. That's why I'm speaking very fear from a Republican and a Democratic point of view. That's how I have been. And that's what I like. People may not agree with that, but that's how it is. So I love Democrats. And I think... Democrats got a they, they got a heart. They are people with with a good agenda. You, you see what I'm saying? They do things from their hearts. And if you look at the issues of Democrats, it's all these issues that are from the heart. Republican are more from the brain. They do a lot of things with all the heart. You see them with the immigration issues. It's all about a mental thing. Right issues, correct issues. And I'm saying again, they have correct immigration issues and policies. But from the hard point of view, it hurts a lot of people. Now the Democrats will swing another way 
out of the love for the people. But, you know, you have this balance with the both parties. And that's where the Muslims have, if you want to get involved in America, America politics, and you want to be there, it is the wisest of things for Muslims to be in both parties. That's what I am just saying all the time to Muslims. We have a history here of doing block voting, block voting, and it's not going to work. They think it works, but it no, no, will not always work. See that uh, these kind of uh, talk shows are very helpful when people have, uh, like you know, open mind. Whether you like it or you don't like Some it, some people may not religion. like what I'm saying, but accidentally, okay? Muslims block vote certain politicians, and they won, like in Obama case. But that does not mean they went and they block vote for Hillary. But they lost. Yeah. Y you see the point? They block vote. Everybody was Muslims. Hillary, whether it's Hillary or Sanders or whoever is running, it was all about Democrat. And they lost. So they got to be very careful and very wise in what they're doing. And, and, and you are a candidate. And that's why I want to talk to you about that so our viewers can hear that worldwide. And here, as a Democratic candidate, for you to be so just, I mean, Congratulations. Thank you. That's good credit to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So um, what um, other advice you have to tell our viewers? Yeah, I simply want to give this message to entire USA and globally. Yes, people because our show, goes because global. our show goes global. Yes. So American Muslims need to restructure themselves in their mindset. This is your country. You must serve this. We definitely have love and affection of motherland. Nobody can deny that. Nobody can get away from that. Something happens there, we really get shaky here. So only way you can gain our respect and dignity in this country by getting involved. Mm -hmm. By getting involved does not mean you're changing your religion. Of course. You are getting involved to do and represent your learnings as a Muslim, what you can do best for this country, what you can offer them. So this way... Well, well plus, realistically, not only a country, but the entire world, because whenever there is an issue in another country, wherever it is in the world, all Muslims are like, oh, they, they get like, you anybody, know, anybody, any faith, any, like, what is America saying about this? What is the American presidency? Everyone is looking to see what America has to say about it. So it's very important, like you said, the importance of American Muslims to go and choose any party, mm -hmm. go and choose any platform, but get engaged. This is my message. I'm not asking as a Democrat, okay, join everybody with Democratic Party or as a Republican, no. Do whatever you like. I'm a Democrat, I'm gonna stick to my party and I will raise voice of the people. Mm -hmm. Whether they hear it or not. Of course. Whether they hate me for this, that I'm a pro uh, Republican or pro Democrat. No, I'm pro people. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. people want, I'm representing them. Whether I get elected or not is not the issue. Of course, of course. But these people will remember that I stood up for the issues. I suggested them something which eventually going to work. Mm -hmm. But like you, uh, like the idea which I just put on this table, and it will be forming up with the help of the most important people of the community. They will be forming up this platform, Muslim Political Action Committee, Florida. Mm -hmm. And in that platform will serve all. Mm -hmm. We will not be religious, we will not be social, we will be pure political structure. We are just politics. So this will result at least in 10 years Beautiful. from now. And, and that's going to be very national. National. Excellent. Well, Brother Intias, <laughs> thank you very much and good luck thank in you, your 220 um, election thank you. as a candidate, Florida State Representative, thank District you. Number 104, which consists of the Pembroke Pines, uh, Western and Southwest, Southwest ranches. ranches. Interesting. As I said, <laughs> I may have sound very Republican, <laughs> but I support Democrats thank you. and I support both parties and people of both parties who are striving for the betterment of America, the people in America, and the world at large. 
and thank you for coming to the show. Thank our viewers for viewing Al Hikmat TV, uh, Global Issues on Al Hikmat TV. Stay tuned 24 7 on Al Hikmat. And it was again a pleasure to be talking to Brother Imtiaz Mohammed, a businessman, politician, 2020, uh, 2020, as we say, <laughs> uh, candidate for Florida State Representative. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All praises are due to Allah, Allah. All praises are due to Allah, Allah. Allah, 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 Allah. Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you would like to dedicate copies of one of these publications as Sadaqa Jariya, continuous blessings for your parents or dear ones who have passed away, or fi sabidullah in the path of Allah, please give us a call so we can place your names on these dedicated publications. You can call us at 954-986-0158 or you can also visit us at www.alhikmat.com. Allah is the creator of different faces Allah is the creator of all races Allahu 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 Allah Royal Bengal Trading importer exporter wholesaler of Bangladeshi indo pak groceries and spices we specialize in various authentic indian masalas juices flowers rices and spices we offer exclusive brands as Ocean Pearl, Sean, National, Tilda, Himani, and many, many more. We're located at 36B Coroni Savannah Road, Charlieville, Shiguanas, Trinidad and Tobago. You can call us at 473-4676 or call 476-3117. Email us at wahabdk at gmail.com. Now open Sajida exclusive for all of your Islamic and casual wear. We carry a large selection of silk route and al karam gowns, scarves, hijabs, hijab pins and many other accessories. We have exclusive Swarovski gold filled and sterling silver jewelry. We are located in store 143 Karoni Savannah Road, Charlieville, Shiguanas, located on the opposite side of TNT Chicken Hut. For more info you can call 328-6682 or 295-5400. Fens, the single largest specialty retailer of residential and office furniture, consumer electronics, home appliances, and household items in Trinidad and Tobago. At Fens, we offer a large selection of high quality products, honest and reliable service. We are passionate about serving you, and we're proud of the standard of excellence upheld by our knowledgeable staff, friendly delivery teams, and dedicated customer care associates. Visit Fens first, your friendly furniture appliance and electronic dealer since 1960. Al Hikmat Dawa Services now offering a special Dubai and Umrah package in December 2019. A 10-day trip from December 9th to December 19th, 2019. Average cost is $3,000. The group will be led by Sheikh Shafayat. For more details, you can contact Al Hikmat Dawa Services at 954-986-0158 or you can email us at alhikmat at alhikmat.com.